This week we've looked at one of the traditions within the church and that tradition is communion. And we started here with this picture of what we know as the Last Supper and we're going to finish this week before obviously tomorrow's rest principle with the same picture. Now there are many rumors that have surfaced over the years about this very picture. In fact, one of them that is the most amazing to me is that when da Vinci painted Jesus, he painted him first and then he painted all of the disciples around him. And yet he was not able to paint Judas. And the reason for that is because he couldn't find the right person to use for Judas. So it took da Vinci years to paint this picture. And finally, a gentleman came in that he was like, this is the man that I could use for Judas. And after painting him into the picture, he started talking with him more and he realized that he recognized him. This same man had gone out into the world and the world had just beat him up. The man that was painted as Judas years previously had been painted as Jesus. See, the problem with traditions within church is it's very easy to pick a side. And even in this picture with Jesus being in the center, you have the disciples on one side and the disciples on another side. And many times they get so caught up in the things that they would do and how they would do it that we lose the meaning of what it's truly about. And what other traditions are truly about within the church or what they should be about is what's at the very center of this picture, and that is Christ. It was His sacrifice that was made. It was His life that was given on the cross. And that is the area that we should focus upon when we have our time and we come together as a church in communion. It was Jesus that conquered death for you and for me.